Hello, welcome to another video and today I'm bringing you my September haul which is back to being ridiculously big. So let's just get stuck in shall we? So in September I got no ebooks but I did get one audiobook which was The Mad Ship by Robin Hobb. Obviously I am doing a buddy read of the Live Ship Traders trilogy and this was book two so this was the one we read in September so obviously I had to get the audiobook for it. Um, so this was the only, only audio I bought. So then next up we'll go, we'll go through the book box books I got. So first up was a pre-order. It was the third in the series and that is Gods and Monsters by Shelby Mahurin. This is the third book in the Serpent and Dove trilogy um, and I'm very excited to read this but I didn't manage to get it on my October TBR which I'm sad about but I'm really excited to read this and this is the Fairy Loot edition and you can't see but these are supposed to be like silvery sparkly edges but they don't look like it <laughs> but it's a absolutely stunning edition the reverse dust jacket is gorgeous and I'm really happy I managed to pre-order it because I now have the first two and then book three next up was the August Lit Joy and that is Ashfall Legacy by Pitticus Law don't really know much about this never read anything by the author before but the edges are gorgeous so yeah next up we have me dropping a book um next up we have the august fairy loot and we got two books in the august fairy loot and that was these hollow vows by lexi ryan these edges are stunning i'm obsessed with them and also after love by tanya byrne which again the edges are stunning and this cover is slightly different well both covers are slightly different from the original covers and i'm really excited to read both then in September's Fairy Loop, we also got two books. So we got Defy the Night by Bridget Kemmerer, which has these gorgeous edges. And this book is amazing. I have already read this and I'm obsessed. And then we also got Beasts of Prey by Ayana Gray. And this is a different cover to the original cover. It's got pink in it, whereas the original is just green. Um, but this sounds really good and I'm really excited to read this as well. I've not heard anyone talk about it, but I've seen it everywhere. So yeah. Next up, we have possibly my favorite book ever. Um, th this is my favorite copy of this book. Um, and it is the Illumicrate September book, which was Empire of the Vampire by Jay Kristoff, which is this absolutely stunning white, black and gold edition with these edges. It's absolutely stunning. I'm obsessed with this. You're going to see this book in different, like different covers later on in this video. Just a heads up. Next up, I'm going to do Gifted, and this first one was technically not Gifted, it was a trade that I did with the lovely Georgie, and it is Cinderella is Dead by Kaylin Bayron. This is the advanced reader copy, and I love this book. This is now my third copy of this book, because I have the US hardback, the UK paperback, and also the ARC, um, so I'm very happy. I love this book. It was one of my favourites of 2020, and I'm really happy I managed to get the ARC for my collection. Then I am going to be part of the booktube tour for Where the Argosi and Fall of the Argosi, and I think something happened with the publishers because so they sent us the hardback of Where the Argosi. So these are from Hotkey Books. Um, they sent us Where the Argosi by Sebastian de Castell in hardback. I love this. It's gorgeous. I do actually already have it on hardback because I bought it when it first came out. Um, so they sent us the hardbacks because they were waiting on paperbacks. So I got that. And then in the post, a few days later, I got the hardback of Fall of the Argosi, which is the sequel, and the paperback of Where the Argosi, which is what they originally said they were sending us to read and review. And then the day after that, I got another paperback copy of Where the Argosi. <laughs> um, so I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with the spare one yet. But yeah, thank you to Hotkey Books for absolutely spoiling me with copies of these books. 
Next up, we have a book that my friend Charlie gifted to me. She was unhauling it and it sounded right up my street. And that is Kill the Boy Band by Goldie Moldowski. Um, this sounds really good. It sounds right up my street. They like kidnap the member of a band, I think. And I'm here for that. That's that's brilliant. Then I was gifted a few things off of my Amazon wish list. First up from Barb's over at Barb's Bookland was Arusha and the End of Time by Roshani Chokshi. <sighs> I'm probably still pronouncing that wrong but thank you so much Barb's I'm so excited to read this I specifically put this cover on my wish list because I prefer this cover I believe this is the US cover but I prefer this to the UK covers so this was the one that went on my wish list and then Chloe over at Persistent Bookworm gifted me Angel Volume 1 which is called Being Human this is the reboot of the Angel or Buffy series and this is Volume 1 of the Angel one so I've already read this just because. Um, but thank you so much, Chloe. Next up, we're going to go for pre-orders. So the first one was Shadowgast by Thomas Taylor. This is the third book in the Eerie on Sea series. And I actually thought this was only going to be a trilogy. So this was the last book, but it turns out there are going to be more books, which makes me so happy. But I you might see I've already got these in. I am starting a buddy read for this with Helen over at Helen's Bookhaven. So I'm going to be reading this very soon. It also matches my aesthetic today. <laughs> the next pre-order was Frostheart 3, which is Rise of the World Eater by Jamie Littler. I, of course, got the Waterstones editions because I have the Waterstones edition with the beautiful edges of the first two books. This is another one that I have managed to squeeze in to my October TBR and I just really hope I manage to get to it because I want to devour this, which is funny because Rise of the World Eater, devour. I'm funny. Just, just pretend I'm funny. <laughs> the next pre-order is Rise Up from the Embers by Sarah Rash and Kristen Simmons. I loved set fire to the gods it was in my top 10 favorite books of 2020 and i have high hopes for this and i really hope it doesn't disappoint um but i have also noticed that it is smaller than the first book so i'm worried because i'm pretty sure this is a duology so i really hope it wraps up well but i'm excited for this so much i loved the first one and i hope i love the second one next up because um I definitely needed a third edition of this book. It's Lady Midnight by Cassandra Clare. This is the fifth anniversary edition and it has a bonus story and a letter from Cassandra Clare. So um, it's just white, but I'm kind of obsessed with the end papers. They're gorgeous. But the, um, the bonus story at the back is called Stars to Burn and it's a bonus story featuring Mark and Kieran, which if you know me, you'll know that... Um, Mark Blackthorne, Kieran and Christina are three of my favourite characters from this series. So, of course, I was getting this. Um, and yeah, I'm really excited to own this copy because it's just really pretty. Look at that. But it's my third edition of this book. Next up, <laughs> you're going to see my other three editions of Empire of the Vampire. So, these are going to be really hard to hold. But <laughs> these are my other three editions. <laughs> So first up, we have the Goldsboro edition, which is this gorgeous, like, grey blue. And it has purple. And then if you take this off, we've got Chastian Crest on the uh, naked cover. And this is numbered, and it is number 973 of 2000. And it is signed. So that's gorgeous. Then we have the Forbidden Planet edition, which is basically the same as the standard, except the red bits are blue. This one also came with this gorgeous print. And the crest on the front is just De Leon. This is also the crest on the standard editions um, as well. But love this. And then we have the Waterstones edition, which has black edges and is the the red and it is also signed um so yeah they're my four editions of that so they were all my pre-orders and then in september if you take out the pre-orders which i know was a lot i actually only bought myself 
three books that weren't pre-orders. So first up I got, I did a little trip to my local cherry shop and I found two books. So first up we have Soul, The Soul Keepers by G.P. Ching. I know nothing about this but it's a floppy paperback and it sounded interesting when I read the blurb. So I don't know, I might not like it, we'll see. But it was like, what, one pound? I think it was one pound. So I wasn't passing it up. And then I also picked up Burn by TJ Klune, which I did not know existed. Look how floppy it is that it's just doing that um, as I hold it. But yeah, this sounded pretty good and everyone raves about TJ Klune. So I thought I'd give one of his backlist books a go because I saw it and this was um, 2012. So a while ago, almost 10 years ago, Jesus. Um, but yeah, this is the first book in the Elementally Evolved series. So yeah. And then the final book I bought myself was a collector's edition for a series I have been wanting to read for years. I grew up watching the dubbed version of the TV show when I was a kid and I would really like to read. I've, I've always wanted to read them as well as watch the actual original non-dubbed TV show. Um, and that is Card Captors. And these are the collector's editions. <laughs> They're hardback and they're absolutely gorgeous so this is card captor sakura clamp and it is the um volume one and look at the back of that it's gorgeous and they do come with cloud cards which are so cute and i'm just like thrilled that i'm finally going to get around to reading these they're so pretty and i'm so happy to have them so that was my September haul video. I'm going to be like very frank with you. <laughs> October, we are on the 3rd of October. So I'm filming this a little bit earlier than when it's actually going up. But it's the 3rd of October. I went book shopping yesterday and I bought 10 books. Plus I bought one online. Plus I have some pre-orders coming out this month. Plus... <laughs> I've already received four gifted books this month. So be prepared for another big haul next month because that's how it's going. But having said that, we'll find that out next month just how big my haul gets. But that's it for today's video and my September haul. Um, I've got to try and find space for this and it's not gonna happen because I don't have any space. Also expect an unhaul coming soon because I feel like that's going to have to be a thing that happens very soon. Um, but I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, comment down below if you have read any of these and enjoyed them. And I will see you next time. Bye.